someone hasn't been on the new website, what's different from this version right now than what would have been up there and maybe in over the summer? Yeah, I think one of the, the biggest features is sort of the self-service aspect of the site. I mentioned before about the, the older site could be very cumbersome because people would literally have to email to change their username or, hey, I switched agencies or certain things, and, and it was difficult to, to figure out how to do some of those things. And now in the new site, you can go in there, you can edit your own details, you can change your own passwords, you can customize your username if you want, but also you have access, and this is where that database connectivity is. There's the website side, but there's also the database. Any letter that's distributed through the site, through the association, any forms you've taken, any invoices, any anything like that is in your profile. You no longer have to reach out to somebody and go, can I get a copy of this? You can go in there and you can access it and print it or do whatever you need to do with it yourself. Very self-service, all at your fingertips. It's tracked in your membership database, in your profile. It's attached to that forever with this kind of uh, concurrent with that is the training records. We are now, we backdated a certain amount, but certainly moving forward. Anytime you take a course through IACA, be it a webinar, be it a 12-week online course, and eventually when we have in-person courses, that training record is being put in there as like a CEU. And you can go into the membership portal, and there's a little link for training record, and you can access it right then and there. So you, you can filter it. So if you see, I only want to see all my webinars or you only want to see things in a certain date range. So this can become beneficial for members that need to, say, provide that information for training credits or, you know, for their annual review or anything like that. So all of your training hours and attendance and everything will be in there, which is a great feature. The, the store, that's, that actually was after launch that we added that. It was about a month ago. The IACA store is now on the website. So you can, you know, it used to be you had to be in an event. You had to be at the conference and you could, you know, buy fleeces and polos and pencils and, you know, whatever fun stuff that, that we have to offer. And now that's accessible on there that you can order online. We'll be getting to a point of, of some customization as well. But that's a great feature. There's also gift cards on there. So supervisors want to give an incentive or a reward or whatever to is they can buy an IACA gift card that then that employee can use towards something in the store. So those are some great features by far. What I would promote is the community and forums. And I mentioned before that that social media platform, that is what community is. It's almost like a little website within our website. Um, the forums are within community. So one of the most important things for IACA members to know is that you have to log into the website and you have to click on the quick links that's on the right hand side of the page. It's orange. You can't miss it. Community and forum. You have to access that at least once to activate your community account. And I think one of the things that was difficult with the old site is that we had the, the forms basically stopped functioning. Those those notifications stopped going out. It just, you know, you went from a flurry of emails telling you that, you know, somebody asked a question here or posted a job there or whatever they were posting. And that just went away. And we had probably six months without those. Sometimes people would get one periodically, but it literally crippled our communication with our membership. So some people may not realize that that's back. They may go, oh, yeah, there's a site. And they think, oh, I'm just not seeing forums. No, you actually have to go in, click on community and forums, and then that activates your community account. What is in community and what is beneficial in community is, is connectivity with other analysts. So the forums themselves, we have a couple, the, the forums, there's a couple different forums in there as well. But if you do nothing, if you just click on there and you access the new site, you'll get a weekly digest of all the forum activity. However, you can customize that. You can go into your account settings and you can change that to daily, where you get a daily email that lists all the things that got posted in the forum that day. You can also turn that off if you don't want to get that weekly forum and you don't want to be notified. You just want to go in on your own and look when you look. Separate from that is you'll see subscribe buttons. So it's very Facebook-esque sort of look, that social media, going in and being able to like things, being able to comment on things. But you can subscribe and you can follow these, either an entire topic, an entire forum, such as training, or you can follow a specific post. 
Maybe somebody made a specific post about a particular program that your agency is looking at that particular program and you want to see the chatter and the responses to that. You can subscribe to that direct post. And what that does is creates these instant alerts. And that will more frequently, anytime somebody makes a comment, anytime somebody likes that post, whatever, that's when you'll get notified. So as a user, you can control how much or how little you get notified. There's people that they want to know. The minute something gets commented on, hey, I want to know that. And it, it, it's honestly, it's about every 30 minutes. If there's activity, you'll get that. But you can control that. So that is certainly something that for IACA members need to know. Go in there, click on community, and poke around. There's there's the forums. There's different discussion topics. If you're part of a regional association, we have groups. Groups are something that's going to continue to grow. Or you think of those regionals that don't necessarily have a lister. They don't have a way of communicating with all their members at once. Well, now they have their own little group page where only their group members see what goes on in there. They can share, share files. They can post events. They can have discussions within their own little community. So you mentioned the profile and the new website does, there's a lot of, of parts to that profile. There's a lot of information mm -hmm. that folks can answer questions and update their profile. And you mentioned Facebook. Now, is it something where when I post, it's something that's posting to my page or my area or is posts only with the forum? You go into a certain forum, click new topic and then that's the way you post so i advocate that you post within the forums in order to make it easier to get back to and to subscribe to those mm -hmm. however there's that main news feed on the page anybody can post in that news feed and that that's a part of your news feed and if somebody you know likes that and replies on it it becomes you know part of theirs the only negative to that is that when you think of the amount of traffic and activity in the site and all of our members and all of the forum posts, if you post in that news feed, unless you've subscribed to it, trying to go back and find that the next day even, there's so much else that has flooded your news feed that it will take you a really long time to go back. Does that make sense? I understand that. It depends on how popular you are and how, what they're seeing and what they're clicking on. So with the old website, it was a forum and there wasn't this aspect of the profile per se. And there definitely certainly wasn't the social media aspect to it. I have to ask this question. Manny would say, of course, Jason's going to ask this. So what's the, what's the, <laughs> what's the moderation process? If I post something, yeah. someone thinks my picture is inappropriate, or if I post something to my news feed, does that need okayed before it posts or how does the whole moderation process work with this new website? So we, we still have a team of moderators, same team of moderators that are moderating the site. There's also the ability for any member to mark something as objectionable. And if you look in the forums, the general about the forums, there's the, the rules essentially of the forums. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, as a user, you know, we're all adults. This is sort of my, my perspective. We're all adults. We're professional. So we should be communicating in our professional site with a level of respect and decorum. And we know right from wrong for what we can put in there. However, there's occasionally going to be things that people are going to put. So I may be offended by something or find it objectionable or find so I can mark that as objectionable. But we've got the rules that essentially say, hey, this is this is what you're signing in to do that you're you're acknowledging that you're going to follow these rules by using this tool that we have available to our members so that's something that we have that kind of front and center it's kind of tagged to always be there so it's easily accessible for everybody to understand what they're getting into when they're they're going to you know participate in these forums but mm -hmm. somebody can mark something objectionable it gets reviewed and also kind of that general oversight of the site there may be something that is marked, and then we have a process that, that's in there as well of we could ultimately suspend somebody who continues to violate the terms of use of the forum. So that can be a temporary suspension of what? You're not going to have access to posting these things because you're violating these terms of use. So Yeah, it'll happen that's kind eventually. Of the governance. Just It'll happen eventually. Just it, right. <laughs> it won't be looking for your name there. Don't test it. <laughs> I promise I won't. But so, but and then in terms of posting though, does it post right away, or is there a validation yeah. process to to that? Because that's how right the away. old forum worked, and that was one of my pet right. peeves with the old forum is 
that I would post something, it would go to the moderators, and if they didn't catch it just right, it could be hours later that it eventually posts to the website, which was right. no, which for me instant. was annoying. So you 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 hit post, it's on there. Okay. All yep. right. No, that's that's good. And I told you in the prep call, I was like, Manny's going to be after me because I haven't taken the chance to really get involved with the website. And he knows that we put that in there for Jason Elder. <laughs> so I, uh, I really need to get in there and really take advantage of a lot of these great bells and whistles that the new website has. It really has a lot for the member, for the end user, but also some of the most significant stuff is is things that you or I as an end user wouldn't even realize. The efficiencies and the tracking and the connectivity from the standpoint of managing an association, it really has some amazing features. And one of the best parts of this project for me is talking to committee chairs and hearing, oh my goodness, this is gonna save me so much time. Oh my goodness, this is so great. I used to have to track this in two other separate spreadsheets in the past, and now it's all tied in, and it's there historically for that member for the long term. So, so there's a lot of really great features. I mean, it was a big leap, and it was a lot of work, but it, I'm really pleased with what we now have and how it benefits not only all of the volunteers that make this organization run, but also the members and all of the, the features that are available to the members. So people just got to get on there and, and take a look and, and we're not stopping. There's so much more that we're continuing to work on that we're always going to be improving this. All right. Well, that's my next question. So we're on the same page here. So what are you working on? What's coming next? Well, if I tell you, then I'm tying myself into that. <laughs> no, we're doing a lot of things, certification, working with the mentorship committee, training. There's really a lot of different aspects that little concurrent projects, different forms, different, you know, processes for, for those. So uh, I, I won't give like one specific that'll say this is absolutely the next thing that you're going to have, but there's a lot that we're still working on. We wanted to get, if, if I waited until this site was exactly where I wanted it to be, we wouldn't be launching even in the next six months. Yeah. But we got a functioning, well-developed site for our members. We've got to get everybody back on there and get using it. And, you know, always open webmaster at IACA.net. We're always open to suggestions. Obviously, we want to know if there's problems, but suggestions. And that's the beauty of being part of a, you know, a professional association is that we share ideas, and I don't know anything and everything about a website. Somebody may have a really excellent idea, and if it's a capability, let's look at it. So we want to hear that from the membership. We want to hear these different ideas, and, you know, people want to get involved. That's totally good, too. I need work right. to go around. Excellent. You, you mentioned waiting until it has all the bells and whistles. And I was trying to remember Sean Bear, when I had him on the show, he has a saying that if you don't hate your first version of your software, you've waited too long. Like everybody, right. something, I forget <laughs> what it was. There's a saying there that he has, and I'll have to put his uh, link in his episode in the, in the show notes, because you're always going to hate the first version and you can't wait until it's perfect kind of thing. So, well, very good. Again, to the audience, if you're not a member of IACA, please consider becoming a member. If you are a member, get into the website, get into the forums, click on the community button. Like Jennifer said, see what all the new website has to offer. And we'll certainly put in links in the show notes for additional information. 